Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Access 3 Edition in Digital Logic Design, ORR Switching Theory and Logic Design. So Access 3 Edition is nothing but we have to perform the addition operation between the two excessive numbers. For that purpose, we have to follow the following steps. First one is convert the given decimal numbers into access three code. That means whatever the given numbers, that given numbers or decimal numbers, that decimal numbers are converted into equivalent access three code numbers. Second step. Add the two excessive access three code numbers in binary form. Third point, if there is any carry is generated, that carry is propagated, then add it 0, 0, 1, 1 to the given sum. So this can be done if any carry is generated after adding 4 bit groups of 2 access 3 code numbers. If any carry is generated, that carry is propagated to the next higher bits. Then add 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 to the given sum. Okay. Next one. If there is no carry is generated, then subtract 0, 0, 1, 1 from the given sum. Okay. If the carry is generated, the carry is propagated from next higher 4 bit groups. Add 0, 0, 1, 1 to the given sum. If there is no carry is generated, subtract 0, 0, 1, 1 from the given sum. Here 0, 0, 1, 1 is nothing but decimal 3. Okay. So these are the steps we have to follow for performing the access three code numbers. Okay. Example, perform the following addition operation in access three code. So first one, 37 plus 28, two, two second one, 247.6 plus 359.4. First one, 37 plus 28. Here, in this decimal number, there are two digits are there. For each and every digit, we have to add plus 3 to get the equivalent access 3 code numbers. So here, 3, 7, in the decimal number 37, 3 is one digit, another digit is 7. We have to add plus 3 for each and every digit. So then, 3 plus 3, that is a 6, 7 plus 3, that is 10. Okay, what is the binary equivalent of 6? That is 0, 1, 1, 0. What is the binary equivalent of 10? That is 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so therefore, access 3 code of, access 3 code of, Decimal number, decimal number 37 is 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. Each and every digit we have to add plus 3. Okay. Next. In the same way, 28. Here, 2 is 1 digit, 8 is another digit. We have to add plus 3. For each and every digit, 2 plus 3, that is 5, 8 plus 3, that is 11. What is the binary equivalent of 5? So that is 0, 1, 0, 1. What is the binary equivalent of 11? So 1, 0, 1, 1. So therefore, access 3 code of, access 3 code of decimal number, Decimal number 28 is 
zero one zero one and one zero one one. Okay. So after getting the access three code of thirty seven and access three code of twenty eight, we have to perform the addition operation. So that is thirty uh, seven. What is the code? Access three code zero one one zero. One zero one zero. Okay. What is the access three code of twenty eight? Twenty eight is zero one zero one and one zero one one. Okay. Now we have to add using binary addition. Okay. So zero plus one that is one. One plus one zero. With the carry one, zero plus zero plus one, that is one. One plus one, zero. With the carry one, carry one is propagated to the next bit, next higher four bit group. Next one, zero plus one plus one, so that is zero. With the carry one, next one plus one, zero. With the carry one, one plus one plus one. One with the carry one zero plus zero plus one that is one. Okay, so here for this group a carry is generated one plus one zero with the carry one. This carry is propagated to the next higher four bit group. Okay, so here this carry is generated. This is the carry bit. Okay. Next, next step is if there is any carry generated, propagate the carry bit. We have to propagate the carry bit to the next higher four bit group. Add zero zero one one to the given sum. Here carry is generated. We have to add zero zero one one. Next, here for this group there is no carry is generated. We have to subtract. Minus zero zero one one. Okay, for this group, a carry is generated because of that reason. We have to add zero zero one one. For this group, there is no carry is generated. Okay, we have to subtract the minus zero zero one one. Okay, here carry is generated. Carry is not generated. At which point we have to observe? Okay, here four bits are there. Here four bits are there. After adding four plus four bits at the MSB side, any carry is generated at the MSB position. This is the LSB position. This is the MSB position. After adding the MSB corresponding bits, if any carry is generated. That carry is propagated to next higher four bit group. Okay, so for this group, C out carry out is generated. So then add zero zero one one. Here for this one, there is no carry is generated. Zero plus zero plus one that is one. Okay, there is no carry is generated at the C out. Okay, so hence we can say that. For this group, there is no carry is generated. We have to subtract zero zero one one. Here for this group at this position, the carry is generated. We have to add zero zero one one. Okay. Next one. So here zero one zero one five. This is five decimal equivalent. Five plus this is three. Five plus three is eight. So that is one zero zero. One zero zero. Next, here this is a twelve one one zero zero. This is twelve decimal equivalent is twelve. Twelve minus three is nine. Nine is one zero zero one. So this is one zero zero zero. Okay. So the result is in access three. The result is in access three. 
Okay. So here, what is the decimal equivalent is there? That is 9. What is the decimal equivalent is? That is 8. So the result is in excess 3. To get the normal result, so normal result is 7 plus 8, 15, 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is 65. Plus 65 we are getting. How we are getting from this result? We are getting 65. So here this is the result is in excess 3 code. To get the decimal equivalent, to get the decimal equivalent, to get the decimal equivalent, subtract 3 from each and every digit, from each and every digit. Okay, so then 9 minus 3 that is 6, 8 minus 3 that is 5. So therefore, we are getting plus 65. Okay, so in this way, we have to perform the access 3 addition operation. Okay, here this carry is propagated. Here this carry is propagated to next higher bits. Okay. Here carry in the LSB or after the LSB position, after that position, if any carry is generated, that carry is forwarded to the next position base. Okay. If any carry is generated at this position, at this position, this carry is propagated to the next higher 4 bit group ok so now this carry is generated at this position we have to add 0 0 1 1 for this group ok here at this position there is no carry is generated because of that reason we have to subtract 0 0 1 1 from this group ok so here the decimal equivalent of 1001 is 9 the decimal equivalent of 100 is 8. Here the result is in accessory code because we are converting the given decimal numbers to accessory code. After performing the addition operation, the result is in accessory code. To get the decimal equivalent, here we have to add plus 3. Then we have to subtract minus 3 from each and every digit. Then we are getting the plus 63 is the answer, plus 65 is the answer, okay. Next, we go for second example. 